everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's the Pictum vlog which I am so so excited for although I'm feeling a little overwhelmed with how much I've got left to do but it's okay it's all gonna be fine but we are heading off to Bicton. I want to say bright and early tomorrow but not too bad but we will be heading off tomorrow morning but I'm just so excited for it. I feel like I've been waiting for this event for two years which seems nuts. It was actually two years ago this time of year that I was having an R ring idea of whether to buy you or not, wasn't I? Whether I wanted to go back to having another freshly backed four year old to start all that journey again. And oh my goodness, I am so pleased that I did. I trusted Fred because he actually had her in to break and it was at Bigden three day. Two years ago, I said to Fred, would I be able to aim to do this like next year? And he was like, yeah, that would be a really good aim but actually the horses have got to be six years old to be able to complete a three-day event so Addy is obviously now old enough and I do think had I tried to get there last year it would have been pushing us we only completed a couple of 80s last year whereas this year we've been much more on it out there like I want to say proper eventing we also had to get our MERs at 90 which was 390 clears to be able to enter this which we got I believe at Dauncey if I can remember because I can remember being really happy that I had got it because I knew then I would be able to enter Bicton so I have had in my head in my calendar all year this weekend this event but I am aware it's going to be probably quite a long vlog but I don't even know if I want to show you this this is the worst I've ever seen my feed room and tech room just to keep relatable I will show you in here which I am very ashamed is like this oh my goodness look at the state of it um so we've had a lot of wind and rain over the past couple of days so i had to bring everything in so that's why the rugs are in there and then numbness galore everything in there and i was like i know i've got to pack so we will i was just like dump it all in there and as i'm packing stuff then hopefully that will give it a bit of a tidy at the same time i've worked this morning we've taken the horses for a little bit of a mooch um we schooled couple days ago so Addy's had the run through of the test we went show jumping on Sunday so I'm feeling like we are prepared um just been and done an almighty food shop which is nuts because we're only there for two nights three days and I've got quite a lot of food but I I get this from my mum I suppose I would much rather have enough food for everybody than not have enough food so Tina is already up there she's done her dressage this morning sounds like she's had an eventful start to the day but I'm sure that is all documented in her vlog, so be sure to check that out. We've got Meg and Hannah coming up tomorrow, staying with us tomorrow night, and then helping us with the cross-country on Saturday. Kerry ann and I are travelling up tomorrow morning with Vanessa and with Amy, and Susie is coming up on Saturday as well. I'm basically just yapping on to stop myself from packing. So let's get into it, clean the tack, get things packed in the car, and good to go. We have done well. My little helpers behind the camera have been here cleaning boots, cleaning bits, putting numbers away, getting things in boxes and I'm pleased to say tack's all been cleaned and the majority of it is already in the car ready to go. But if you have seen my previous vlog you will know that the zips broke on my white jumpers. Well I've had a little bit of a mare trying to get a new pair nothing like next day delivery before 12 p.m today and this is my first pair so just trying to decide so i actually thought these were going to be too small for me so these are a size six pure everything on me just struggles oh not my knees that's the only thing but i'm actually quite surprised that they fit which is making me think that the next pair aren't gonna fit but we shall try them on now i also bought about elasticated with a little like with a little um bit thing that clips on i thought that would look smart to match my jacket the second pair so these are lemure and yeah i thought these might be a bit big but i did just buy them just in case i mean I, if i was desperate i would just get away with them but they are unfortunately they didn't have a six in these so but i do like the material with them they've got their sticky bum everything that i looked for had to have a sticky bum because i do like to have sticky bum for competing give me a little bit more stickability but weird i always feel i actually think a six would have been perfect fit but they didn't have any ones online so never mind but i did find these in the sale as well and i think they might have been like 89 pounds so 
Maybe I might try and see if I can get a stick somewhere because they would be nice as a as like a spare pair. I've got my pair, so I will be going with them. So at least I have got some breeches and I have also got my mink toggy ones that I am thinking whether I wear them for cross country, perhaps, because I don't want to get my white ones a mess. But yeah, panic over. I have got some white jumpers. I feel like it's a fair few hours later, but it's not. It's really not. It's quarter to six, which I think is very good it's been a very productive afternoon i am feeling a lot better about the state of my feed room and tack room now actually could do with a little bit of a brush out but now like oh i just realized what i've forgotten how can i forget that my blue chip back well addy's blue chip balancer i have just portioned up all of addy's feed so i've put the wheelbarrow there because i am taking that up in the other side of the trailer so that can go up tomorrow when i got the ramp down and i hitch up i'll take that up got another spare bucket all her feed and now i've just realized that i haven't put the blue chip balancer into each feed like i usually do but that's fine i can just take it's nice and easy transportable so i've portioned it out into meals so she's got her dipper of molly chaff and a dipper of conditioning cubes that is what she's currently eating and then i've got feeds for each morning and night one spare and then another bag that is just a good couple of dippers of molly chaff i'm just wondering cross country we're not on until 2 38 i believe so just wondering whether actually from breakfast yes i'll probably get her out for a grass walk but actually by the time that comes around should i be giving her like a bit of a lunchtime feed around 12 because it is going to be a lot for her doing the road track steeplechase and my little thief are you after the carrots <gasps> she's like no but i wouldn't melt what is nice about going up on the morning of competing is that i can actually plant her at home i do find that when she is out and about and in different surroundings is when she can be a little bit more fussy and fidgety i will get her plaited up before we leave then put the lycra hood on and she can travel up hey net is all done i've cleaned all my trailer out brushed that out so yeah we are good to go and i'm aware that probably already we are quite a way into the vlog so i'm going to leave you guys here i'm actually going to put the ponies out i've just had a check of the weather and there is a little bit of rain at three o'clock in the morning but otherwise it's looking pretty dry and not windy like we have been having i'm just conscious addy is going to be in the box doing dressage then in her stable up there for the whole weekend obviously i will get her out and about as much as i possibly can but the majority of her time is going to be in the stable so i'm thinking instead of her being again another night in I think actually I'm going to pop them out so I don't think they will mind that at all because like I say the weather is looking pretty good and it's fingers crossed going to stay that way at the moment there currently is lightning for two o'clock three o'clock and four o'clock lightning thundery showers basically tomorrow right when I'm meant to be going down the centre line at 2 30. I haven't actually checked that far to see whether it's changed or not so hopefully when I check it later on it has changed and there is no thundery showers we can hope can't we but anyways gonna leave you guys here i'm gonna get home get myself my clothes and everything packed and a gazillion million coats basically every coat that i own will be going and then i'll catch up with you guys tomorrow morning when it'll be probably bright and early and the start of plaiting I have been suffering a little bit with a coldy coffee kind of thing all week but this morning must be like the stars are aligned that I'm feeling the best I ever have was like waking up so I'm taking that as a massive positive as you've seen the ponies are in eating their breakfast the car is filled to the brim everything is in there that I needed to take from home just the case now of getting Addy plaited up look at what the damage is what grass stains potentially poo stains and mud we have got on you. I need to hitch up, which I could probably actually do that now whilst they're eating. But other than that, not a lot going on this morning before getting on the road. We are all systems ready to go, but what makes me laugh, it's actually quite dark in there, 
is that Addie now starts, as I untie her, she races in to her stable because she's like, Mum, I just need to go wee before we go. All that is a big wee, but you're all good to go. The legs were pretty dusty and pretty muddy, so they have had a wash. I've put some white on her little white spot that she's got some brighter than white, which I'm, I'll be honest, I cannot see the point of doing because I think it will get brown in the mud quite quickly, but I am pleased with our flats. Now I'm out. Oh, come on then, sweetheart. See what I mean? And then she's like, yep, yeah, I'm ready to go. We've arrived. Just gone through the gates. I know Carrie ann and Vanessa are very, very close behind. So I thought I would just hold off just so that then we get to park with each other. Oh, the cross country is on as well. The horse has just gone off in the distance. Addy is already banging. She knows that she has arrived. And there we are, they're behind. So there they are. They're behind, I knew they weren't long. Oh, and we got somebody out, I think, riding on the roads and tracks, looking rather jolly as well. So, yeah, let's go get parked up and then get Addy out. All arrived, haven't we? Yeah, you travelled well, which is always lovely. She's happy. We are parked here against the hedge, which is actually quite nice. And then carry on and the caravan is there where we've got the hookup. Um, I did speak to Tina, she had just been for a ride and was just washing banks off and then was going to come and find us so I'll pop her a message to say that we have arrived and we're here. Um, Connor is travelled up with Vanessa, we need to go get our numbers um, but we've got plenty of plenty of time. Hey! Oh she's not looking, she's not looking. That made me look really stupid then but that was Tina walking across. It's lovely weather, I think we've missed it. Hopefully it remains like this for the rest of the weekend. Are you a big brave girl? You've never been in one of these kind of stables before, have you? You know, just need a little bit of encouragement but... See, you can see everything that's going on. Yeah. And you've got a lovely bit of grass in there before I put your bed down. Oh, good girl. And you are two doors bound from Connor but you have quickly gone past. Connor's just like food. Not your first rodeo, is it, Connor? Good boy. Hopefully Addy will not realise that he's there. Okay, we are getting ready, 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 aren't we? Yes. I'm actually very proud of my tail plait. I've got to admit, it was quite dusty actually. It's starting to show through a little bit. Might need to give it another little coat. So there's actually flies, would you believe it or not? So I did actually put Addy back in the trailer, dear river, and she loaded very well because it then made doing that tail plait an awful lot easier. She's desperate. You have got a hay <laughs> I'm glad I did wash her legs now as well because I think they're looking gleaming. And then my plan now is I've got a little bit of molly chaff in there. And I'm going to get out a calming syringe. I am not, I, she's seeming pretty chilled. She's pretty happy. But at the same time, I'm like, don't change what you normally do. So don't go near her with a syringe if you've not seen before. She really doesn't like syringes. So I just pop it in a little bit of food like that. And then she gobbles it down. Absolutely no problem, don't you? Just like that. Yum, yum, yum. So I give this 30 minutes before I'm getting on. So it's a little bit, a little bit less actually, if I'm completely honest, but it's pretty instant. And I just find that it just helps take that edge off if she does go into that warm up and is a little bit, a little bit fresh. Um, but thankfully it is more like a, like a normal one day event because we've obviously turned up today and we're doing a dressage. Like she doesn't know that we're not then following on and doing show jumping cross country afterwards, which is quite nice, but. Gobble that down already. Thank you. Yummy. Or is it? Finished. Calming syringe. Ah, oh, <laughs> a bit of chaff. A bit of chaff. Oh. You go nearer, you watch. <laughs> she hates a syringe. Oh. <laughs> Hence the reason. Well, she's easily fooled. Easily fooled. We eat it and any food. <laughs> we know that she is the biggest foodie going. So yeah, it just saves any dramas, any upsets. Put it in a bit of food. You look pretty, don't you? Mm. Okay. Right, Emma's next in, and I thought, so 
somebody else was following us down to take her camera so that I could use this camera. But they're not here, so I think I'm going to have to try and multitask. But her Walmart's looking good so far. A very relaxed, happy and shiny Addy. Practice a fair few given retakes, which have gone well. Beautiful. Especially running downhill. So as always, we'll do a voiceover giving you the marks from the judges. So there is two, there's one at C and one at B. So do bear with me as I'm flicking between both of the sheets. But I was really chuffed with her center line. She stayed really straight, nice rhythm and consistent in the contact. And I felt I actually really prepared her well for this turn, which she then went around my inside leg nicely and was really supple. And we were awarded a 7.5 for our very long 60 meter center line. So chuffed with that onto a 15 meter circle consistently scoring there a seven with a comment of a little over back into the bridle so just a little bit over bent and then it's coming across this diagonal for our walk trot transitions and she did both of them in the test really really lovely really forward into the walk so the judge at c gave us an eight and the judge at b gave us a seven and a comment of fluent then trotting around the short side of the arena said that our hocks could be more under us, well, Addy's hocks more under us, for a seven, and we scored a 7.5 from the judge at B before doing the same on the other rein. So it's starting with a 15 meter circle, a little bit more round inside leg. So she just wasn't quite as supple this way, scoring a seven from both of the judges. And then it's again coming on to this diagonal and I actually felt this was a better walk trot transition. Lovely into the walk, nice steps, stayed consistent in the rhythm and a lovely uphill transition as well into the trot. So we scored a 7.5 and a seven from the judge at B. Then into walk again, which was again really nice and forward into that walk transition. And we scored a 7.5 and a seven. Then this medium walk wasn't great, but almost I feel if I take too much contact, that's when I can jeopardise her perhaps jogging. We scored at 6.5 across both judges saying good march, but could be more into the bridle, which I totally agree with. And the other judge saying needs more activity. Then onto a half 20 metre circle with the free walk on a long rein. And I really like this comment, could commit more to stretch, which I totally agree with. So we scored a 6.5 and a 7. And then we're picking up trot in the first corner and then canter in the second. More throughness needed. So we scored a 6.5 and again a 7. But actually for how our canter transitions have been going recently, I'm really chuffed. She was responsive, picked up the right lead. So I'm just chuffed with that if I'm completely honest. Then going on to a 20 metre circle with the give and retake. So here's that. And you can see it goes a little bit poker nose. So we had flattened frame scoring a 6 and a little balance poking nose and give and retake for a 6.5 then onto a half 15 meter circle coming across the diagonal and we scored a 6.5 and a 7.5 that's probably the most different in marks that I've got throughout the whole test saying a fair balance and a little on hand into trot then again around for another transition to canter in to the right leg and again I was pleased it was responsive picked up the right lead so I was chuffed with that and we scored a seven across the board and then on again give and retake was better this way but still just needs to have a bit better self carriage as the judges put scoring us a 6.5 across the board again both judges the same then here she just went a little bit like I'm fed up with this mud mum but she kept in the canter could have quite easily broken but she didn't she maintained but we did go down in the marks we got a 5.5 and a 6 and then this is the last movement of the test which is quite a lot actually trotting around that short side a half 10 meter circle and our halt now we did have a little trip onto the center line which was such a shame just there but actually she came down and did one of her better halts that is something that she has never quite been very good at but actually it wasn't bad at all for a very very pleasing test I think she got across the mud. Yeah, <laughs> that was fab. She'd be so tough. Yeah, I am so proud of her. I... We got a hand to run with Was it the right amount of steps? I felt I walked too long on the first one. It was okay. 
Fluent, yeah. No halting. No halting. And she didn't go too squiffy in her halt either, did she? No. No. She was straight, her back legs were just wide. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm really proud of her. I'm so proud of you. She's like, yeah, I'm done now, thanks. Yeah, I'm off. <laughs> I did not want photos. And you're too close. It's the size of your lens. Are we going to stay and watch Connor? You didn't know. I quickly went in before. I was going to say, I noticed. I was like, Come on, like, Oh, is that what you're like? Yeah, I, I need to get in there. I'm ready now. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for filming. That's okay. Thanks for photos. <laughs> Starting. <laughs> I don't know what the. Nice little squat. All you're going to hear is me just heavy breathing. where you're putting them in the gear for the steps not from here on okay so it's being brave two strides before slip even in the trot or the small canter okay <laughs> Actually, you'll jump in, you'll go, woo, one. You'll have to get out still, okay? Don't think, oh, it's a short one, I can landing sit pathetic, because you'll get two. It actually will ride longer than it walks, okay? And what if you do get two? Keep the connection, who cares? It's lovely ascending profile. moment you look for a stride, you'll either pull them off it or you'll chase them past it. Just finished walking the cross country course for the first time obviously and it was really nice. We didn't have it for the beginning of few fences but we did catch up on Cameron's course walk so it was nice just to hear actually for the first time to sort of reassure you but everything out there is looking nice. There is, I'd say it's more technical than perhaps what we've done before, a lot of ABCs but liking it and we'll walk it again tomorrow morning no phones no cameras and just literally walk the lines i'm going to take and get like a bit more of an action plan in my head but we have obviously found out our score already haven't we we've come and checked on you i was going to put a rug on but actually don't think i need to yet but we got a 31.9 so i am over over the moon with that oh addy's clearly not yeah really please i don't feel like i've actually done any sort of debrief after dressage we did obviously have the little slip turning onto the center line and i don't know what she did in her second canter a bit of like a bronc but we never lost the canter so i was really really pleased with how she coped with the testing ground because it was quite i want to say like tacky um but she was a little star was a little star and has made me very very happy after the last few weeks of feeling like we've lost our canter transitions and i don't know i said i think at the very beginning of this vlog that we've gone a little bit back in the dressage for her then to come and just prove me completely wrong <laughs> and to yeah produce a test like that i'm buzzing and over the moon i do think that it was she was much more rideable than chillington and even that 60 meter center line at the beginning i just felt like actually we were in a nice rhythm and yeah just over the moon over over the moon oh yeah do we're just waiting for a delivery i've gone and ordered some horse hage that is going to be delivered outside your stable laddie oh maybe i should put your bed down hmm i've got bells of shavings but i haven't put them in yet maybe i will do that whilst i'm waiting for carry on but we should be having some horse hage arrive shortly which you're gonna love aren't you 
Yeah, you are. Hi. Okay? You're a good girl. Oh, don't You've just blurred that up. We are very quickly running out of light, but we've just kind of done it a bit of a backwards way of having a look at the roads and tracks. So in the distance there, you can see the flag, the red and white flag. So that is the start of phase A, which we've kind of just walked from halfway basically, um, and then just come up to see where the start is. Then we veer off to the right, down where you can see that purple flag. And we've got 16 minutes for phase A. Then when you finish phase A, you go on to the steeplechase, which we're now sort of cutting across and we'll get down to the start box for that. And that is where basically go as fast as you can because you can't be too quick for any of these phases except for phase D, which is the actual cross country. So you just need to go as fast as you can, but also reserving the energy because you are going to be on their back for quite a long time and you've got to think of the uh, roads and tracks more of like hacking just trotting around um taking in the countryside but then steeplechase is quite a fast pace and it is all basically a straight line over i want to say five fences and then when you get to the top it's a bit like a snail you go round in a circle and that bit there i believe is quite tight obviously i have never ridden it um but from what like tina said she's walked it she's obviously ridden it the past couple of years it can be quite tight so i think when you've got the straightness for the first few fences is basically try and make up your time then so then you can take it a bit steadier the hundred is going to have gone before us so the ground could potentially be quite tacky um, i'm just making note here so i think at the end of phase a you're going to come back up this way and then you can see down there we've got another red and white flag and the start box as well we've got a start box down here oh i am excited but i am a little bit i have no idea what addy is going to make of this i don't i think she's going to come out a little bit naive but we're obviously going to be passing horses like because you're literally on one track and a horse could be coming past you also think i'm going to be passing kerry ann out on phase a and potentially phase c as well because that is a kind of out and back as well so we're probably going to see Connor. Not sure how she'll make of that, but she was very good with him today when we were watching Carrie Ann's test. I just don't know what she's going to make of it. It is just like a hack, but I don't know if she's going to be excited, spooky. You can get off and lead them if you need to. So I have got that in the back of my head that if there is something that if she doesn't want to go past that, then I can get off, lead a pass, get back on. So at least I know I've got that option, but we're, hope we're not going to need that. We are not going to need that, but here we go. So phase B start out and around that corner and then it's basically like racing hurdles i'm looking forward to this it's just going to be like a kick and go and you can take these fences i feel in sort of any stride that you meet so yeah i'm excited for this part four or five fences and then you keep on going round go past the flags because you have not gone between the red and white flags and keep going all the way around come around and then when you go through the red and white flags you have finished phase B. Sounds silly that I have to explain this, but we have had people pull up and go, oh wait, a oh, brilliant, it's finished over here before they've actually gone through the flags. So make sure you come up, go all the way around, and then go through the, to the finish of phase B. Phase, I didn't give you the time, but phase A optimum time is 16 minutes. Yeah, so phase A, the optimum time is 16 minutes, so you're basically going along at a brisk trot, approximately four minutes a kilometre. And then on phase C, the speed is slightly slower. So rather than being 220 metres a minute, it's 160 metres a minute. So on phase C, it just gives you time to just, after the chase, let them get their breath back and you're not going at quite such a brisk trot. So on phase B for the 90, they go at 520 meters per minute, which is novice speed. You, uh, the time, uh, the optimum time is two minutes, 39 seconds. So two minutes, 39 for the 90 on phase B. Before you hit that section of woods, four kilometers. Then when you come through, you'll see a sign which says trot from here. That is so the vets who are in the D box can watch you coming in to make sure your horse is okay and is sound. So make sure you're trotting and then you go through the finish and you're into the D box. Why is she going to love you? Because she's got a hate. 
Got some horse hay that we've just collected. It's going to hang out where the shops are as well, but I need to do them. Yeah, that's what I said. I've already brought them down in the. Knowing that you need to do that. Yeah. Oh, Waddy! Okay. You like to be in a food model for this, which you guys won't be able to watch that in the vlog because uh, it's all on my old Mac and I can't get it off. Oh no. <laughs> Fine. And then it comes out in sections. Oh, that's handy. Yes. Jam pack it. Now, I did say this in my other vlog, but yes, I am now a ambassador for Horse Age and Molly Chat, but I am not having my whole... I want to say my whole supply because I'm going to be honest with you guys and be truthful. I don't actually need it at home, but when you come away to these events like this, it's so much handier bringing this than having to bring. Well, I can't bring a round bale. Dad can say whether I'd fit a round bale or not. <laughs> On the roof rack? Exactly. So it makes it so much easier, and I would always have to buy haylage like this. So I'm really pleased to be. And delighted to be working with horse I like page. that it comes out in sections. I know, it's really handy. You don't handy, have to wrestle it? with it, yeah. I mean, that's all very packed down, so I feel that. Yes, yeah, I yeah, know. give it a shake and it'll. She's like, just give it to me. Yeah, I know, she can do that. That's the extra work for her, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it smells so good, though. So I am feeding at the high fibre for her. But there is a wide variety of different horse ages that you can get. I mean, I would like to bring horse age into my channel maybe when it's not pitch black but you know <laughs> <laughs> i don't know the green and the gilet is showing up lovely oh is it <laughs> yeah we've been doing that i had a photo next to the uh oh do you remember being a food model for this this was your best day of your life wasn't it <laughs> <laughs> taste every every package yeah good girl oh look at that for an empty dinner bowl take that back with us fill up your water oh no actually i'm gonna do your plateau quickly sorry Mummy hasn't done that. Okay, well, that yet, to me, guys, is probably like watching paint dry, so I'm gonna, um, yeah, Hi. <laughs> sign out for you for now. Good morning. We need to write the times on our arms, don't we? <laughs> we do need to write our times on the arms. <laughs> <laughs> No, yeah, that, we, that, that is um, recommended because you've got a lot of times to sort of think about. So we will write them down 16 minutes, 2 minutes 39, and 25 minutes. And then 6 Jesus, minutes. Woman. And then six minutes. I don't know. I do That's tend impressive. to. Thanks. I'm, thanks. Yeah. We've had a very good night's sleep. Beds have all been put back away. We've had got a morning coffee, and we walk across the thing. But yeah, I slept really, really well. It was actually quite nice. I've had a few nights recently where I've been waking up at like three o'clock in the morning. Whereas this morning I woke up and I was like, oh, please don't be that time. And I looked, and it was quarter past seven. And I was like, boom, alarm's going off at seven. 30. Um, Hannah, bless her, went over and fed the ponies. I am feeling a little bit mum horse guilty that I haven't been over to see her, but being told that she all looks good. Are we having a tidy up? Hello. Hi. Hi. So, I don't, I don't actually think I've put you on my vlog yet. Hi guys. Hi. Hi. You've Hi. just done what I've just done. I feel much more awake. Yeah. So my face out. Shower with... Wait, oh, and sorry T, we didn't hear you last night. Somebody was uh, trying to come in with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, my phone was on sleep mode, I'm sorry. But you got a lovely big bed Hello. though. Hello! Good morning! I've just had to sneak back in to cover myself up. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh goodness. No, I have to, I have to put that tick of nudity on my video. <laughs> <laughs> Not suitable for children anymore, no. right? <laughs> Cross country course. Walk two, done, concentrated. It was actually quite nice to see some of the hundred riders out there as well, going through like some of the combinations. Obviously not the same as what we're jumping, but it was just nice to see the, the course. Yeah, some are the same, yeah, like that corner one and the drop down. Um, but feeling good, feeling excited. I mean, I have still got a few hours, and a fair few hours until I'm on, so nerves haven't kicked in yet, but it's time to get this handsome boy ready. Woohoo! Woo hey. Super greens are here, everyone's arrived. Susie and Vanessa have come up this morning. They came out on the walk with us as well. I've got Chris sending me some motivational TikToks and some lovely messages. But yeah, first things first, which is nice that we are so separated away from each other and timing wise, because we are then able to help each other in that 10 minute box. And yeah, excited for the day ahead. I have just had a little sneaky look and the sky has gone gray and the forecast is rain for the next two hours. Is it? Changed. It's changed. I know. Sorry, dampening the spirits. Oh, shut up. We just got to get some proof for the vlogs. How do you do it, mate? Is it this end or that end? Of you? <laughs> oh no! Thank you very much. You're welcome. And we're going to go for a little hand graze, aren't we, sweetheart? Bonding time. Bonding time. We'll talk about the course. 
Be careful, let's check that over here. Oh, good girl. Can we go find some grass? Yeah. Hopefully we can find some and not just mud. This house looks busy. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, it is showed up. And when was the last time you spoke to your camera? Are they up to date? Oh, a long time ago. A long time ago. So tea has gone. Tea's done a mega clear. Oh, I wasn't going to say because you need to watch her vlog. People are going to know. People are going to know. They're oh, yeah, of course they are. Yeah, true. Yeah, she's been the pathfinder for us. So. Yeah, hasn't she? You buzzed? You yeah, I am Buzz. I keep having moments where I'm like, Bleh, and then I'm like, oh, I'm really excited, Bleh, and then I'm like, yeah. It's all and right. I'm excited. And then also, I want to put this out. We had a little conversation, didn't we, whilst waiting for Tina. Does anybody else yawn when they're nervous? I can be in the start box, ready to go in like 15 seconds, and I'll be yawning, and I'm See, like, I don't think what? you do that. I do. Maybe yeah. I don't notice. I do, and I'm thinking, how am I yawning yeah. right now? Like, my I adrenaline should be, so should be up. Like rescue remedy, mate. You can't eat the studs, darling. Cool. So, You're yeah. going to love it. Also, Addie's old owner is here as well. So I was quite rude to her, admittedly, because it was just as Tina was going. And I was like, it's so lovely to see you, but I'm really sorry I've got to go. But she'd been down and said hello. And, you... and then Addie said, I've got to go now. Yeah, literally, Addie was like, see ya. I'm off to cross country. <laughs> but yeah, no, we'll catch she up with her got later. A job, she? Yeah, yeah. So it was nice to see her. Um, I am going to ask, can you do my studies? Yep. Please. Wow, I feel honoured. I'm glad that's Meg's job. There we go, authentically getting the sponsors in. <laughs> that's so being left just like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah Meg doesn't realise the thing she says, we won't edit out. No. <laughs> If I only had a spanner. Ah, with spanner in the morning. Do you want You're really going to enjoy it. Ooh, yeah. We allowed it because you went for crepes without me. Cool. <laughs> She's not bitter or anything. Cool, cool, cool. Right, cool, cool. minute marker three yeah. is literally before 10, 10 A as you go down the steps. So I'm putting three steps. Or do you it just want takes 10 a? a village. 10 A. 10. 10. This is really I want that afterwards. The cheat sheet. Well, no, because it's just before, so you want to be going down. Yeah, 10. if you're jumping ten. Yeah. Fair. If you, yeah. you want to kind of be landing from ten, then your head. Yeah. I may have a little scan through of that when you're. Mm -hmm. Yeah. These are the final words, guys. Wow, you sound, well, you sound like you're going to go <laughs> die. I know. Well, it suddenly <laughs> remind me of something. I know. Thing, that's man. what I was reminding of me. If I die, tell Chris I love him. I'm yeah. mum and dad. <laughs> <laughs> I was like that though. Yeah, I'm being taped in. Tina's very kindly. It is the right way around, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. No, it's upside down. We're trying to jeopardise your results. <laughs> <laughs> now, now. <laughs> I've actually written the wrong times on that. <laughs> was she a good girl? She was very good. She loves girl. Auntie Meg. Oh. I don't know where I'm filming. Sorry, guys. Oh, you're alright. I'm you're... probably a bit shaky, too. Oh. Right, I'm, I'm over and out. See you guys on the other side. <laughs> over to the trusty team, the A-team. <laughs> I'm loving our team today. It's blinking epic. One, three? Yeah. One, One two, two, three. three. <laughs> I was going to say, remember she's light, she goes flying I over the top. <laughs> <laughs> right, mate. Oh, you key. Ten she minutes. Key. She's slightly, she knows I'm coming. <laughs> she says, I've been talking to Uncle Banksy. I don't really know what this is all about, you know. <laughs> I heard it's great fun. <laughs> Bean. Cross country motion. Yes, okay? Yeah. Oh, shit, I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> no. Right, let's do that then. Remember, you, it doesn't stop till you get through those flags down there. Oh, the time. Okay. Thanks. Glad you said that. <laughs> Just came over to us. How's she feeling? Good? She's a little bit confused. Yeah. She's a bit like, what is going on? Like, why are we trotting around? Like, a drink, my dear. Oh, I'd love one, thank you.
support crew. Here we come. We've got the bottle. We've got the towels. We've got a hand. We've got a march on. Tina. She's walking Addy around. We've got mummy. She ate some up. Did Young you lady! <laughs> I know, I was like, do I do it? Do I do it? Yeah, go the on. The fence judges were wetting themselves. <laughs> and I went, she needs to concentrate. And they went, she bloody does. <laughs> you know what I did? <laughs> yeah, the I video is good. <laughs> so funny. Good though, all up on time and everything. Yeah, easy. Yeah. Happy? Yeah. She looked mega, Rosie she, Tracks. Oh, through that steeplechase, I was like, right, just yeah. kick, go. And then I, she was like, okay. And then she just carried on going. I let her have a breath just before the spiral. And then I was like, ooh. I was like, we're 18 seconds inside the top. Yeah, the first part of the spiral, you look serious. And then the second part, she was like, hey! <laughs> <laughs> there, I'm just going off to do another Thank course. Walk. Yeah, Thank really, you. really good luck. It's riding mega. Mm -hmm. Really. Look at her. Hardly looks blowing, is she, or is she? No, hardly. Hey. 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 So, um, Mum, I'm, I'm calling her Mummy Dunstan because she's Mummy not really Mummy Dobson. She's gone and hid over there. But who have we got? This, this established gentleman over here. We were just saying how stressed Em's mum is. Like, doesn't want to watch. She's so worried. And then we've got, yeah, Mr. Cool over here. I hope she's got some energy left, though. Yeah, true. <laughs> Mum's gone off. And we just laughed. <laughs> we looked at you and you're there with your legs swinging. The well, contrast between Mum and Dad. Legs, Relaxed and happy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think I've ever seen you so relaxed and happy rides across country. Yeah. It does get you buzzed up for it yeah. though, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. And the way that she, well, she got to so close that on that last um, one one half 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 She's yeah, gone to hide, she doesn't yeah, want to watch. She doesn't want to watch. I know she, I knew that. <laughs> She's driven all the way up here and then she hides. Bless her. They run on now towards that farther house and our next order will be Emily Dobson and Silver Linings Aphrodite. Oh, good girl. Katie Ahern and uh, Ferry Plus. No, 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 my God, Emily. That's all. 9.7, they did pick up four time peddlers in the steeplechase. Yeah. 
Huge thank you to everybody who got some videos of Addy and I out and around at the course. I think you've pretty much seen every fence on the course, maybe bar two, but I have been very kindly sent my Equiril video, which has been really lovely to watch back. Always is a fab training tool, and I thought I would share my feedback, what was going through my mind as we are out on course. So she started really well. I think we were quite buzzed up from the steeplechase and the roads and tracks, but she came out really strong, really keen, almost a little bit too keen if I'm completely honest. This first downhill here, I you might hear me, I'm like, please slow down. We got a little bit close, not the best of jumps, but actually by having that, then it was quite nice turning just here. And then she came back and she listened to me and then we jumped over the B element much nicer than the A element. Then coming down to the first water, I'll be honest, this is probably the one I was the most worried about just because I thought she might be overwhelmed by all this block row here of brushes so a little bit of vocal encouragement but she jumped really well and you can see there the ground like even this one the ground um cam told me really to get her back nice square turn knew where she was going and jumped over that corner really nicely she absolutely flew up this hill just took me just really enjoyed it and then coming to this one and this was where my O oh, my goodness moment uh, really thought I was coming out of the side door if I'm completely honest and that could have been the end of our victim our victim event um, but thankfully she saved me she stayed straight um, which I think then allowed my stick ability to get back into the saddle then coming down this again she's just anything downhill she's really hard to contain back together and that's something I really need to work on for next year is trying to gather that up maybe do some more canter work around fields and really get a small canter going downhill because all of these downhill ones is the ones where she just goes a little bit woohoo um, and I struggle to actually get her back and keep her hocks underneath us so that's something that I'm watching this back and I can take away and know that I need to work on for next year but she's mega going over all these fences she jumps through these houses really really lovely easy one stride and then she absolutely flew up the hill then got her back to this log because this was a abc we jumped to the right of the drop like i wanted to and then again just perhaps a little bit too forward just getting that little short stride but i'd much rather get that and then through here she had again gone really like flying and you can hear me go oh my goodness because i just wanted to come back to me because i know that she is flying um, but again, this turn here, she did really well, met that brush on a lovely stride coming out of the water. And she wasn't spooky by the boat or anything like I thought she might have been, but she was just eyes on the flags where she needed to go. And then here, I really wanted just to set her up for this one. And she got a lovely jump over that to finish an epic, epic day. Little mega, little superstar. Do you want to give us less of a scare? <laughs> oh my! Oh, you said to Vanessa, I was oh. like, I'm so early off. I was so early off. Some video. My oh my god. Oh, yeah, my let's airdrop. Oh, there you oh. are. Come with zoom. That's better. <laughs> are you happy? She was mega. She was so, so mega. good. <laughs> she just looks so class. She's just so keen. Yeah. <laughs> She just absolutely loves it. Dear of that. Some of them were so close and I was like, you just need to get back to me. Yeah. She's like, uh-uh. Like, okay, okay, I'm but... practicing 100 speed, ma'am. She was, that ma did not phase that pony in the slightest. <laughs> she was just like, yeah, let me go. Let me go. Okay. <laughs> What's the big deal? Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, oh, I can't wait. I hope there was a photographer at the Chicana because she <gasps> absolutely launched over uh, that. <laughs> well done. Thank you. Did you actually have to slow down a bit there? Yeah. <laughs> That's like, no way. I was about five. T, six. I need to show you a video of her over that log yeah, drop because, oh one. my god. Do you want the heckler? Has she got one? <laughs> is it time for daddy? Yeah, I was a little bit quick, but. Um, is it time you bought the lorry yet? Bought the lorry, yeah. 
Well, you said you'd buy me a lorry if I went, got to novice, didn't you? Remember? And she and she basically went novice speed, yeah. so. I'll buy you a lorry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right. On camera! Every <laughs> sentence! Every <laughs> sentence! Uh, written one through two stops. Oh, he's awful. He's getting you a toy, lorry. <laughs> he's getting you a Tonka toy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want a lorry! <laughs> I'm going to be looking after a pinky lorry. When you tell you to look after your jeep. <laughs> hey, the jeep got us eh? Just. <laughs> <laughs> boo, boo, boo. No, not camera. It's the camera turned yeah! off. Three clears! We're going to carry on now. Carry on, but carry on. Three clears. But yes, three clears. <laughs> three happy smiley for you to retell you. Oh, yeah. Ah. <laughs> You're in 10th place! Ah, uh, and she was happy about it now. And Tea, where were yeah, you? Yeah, I am happy now. I was, you guys are. <laughs> you're oh, oh, it's right, shoe jumping now tomorrow. Tea, it? you're in 15th. Woohoo! Girls, I'm sorry, you need to bring home these double clears tomorrow. <laughs> no pressure. Oh dear. Yeah. Right, anyways, we need to party first. Yeah, I was about to say, let's go and enjoy the party. Bye. But it's been an awesome day. We've had a great team of helpers. We have. Oh, it's worked like clockwork, hasn't it? That's what we said <laughs> before the camera didn't record. <laughs> But yeah, we don't rehearse what we're going to say, but when it goes wrong, we do. <laughs> Mum could come out from a, behind the band to watch. Did you manage to watch a little bit? Yeah, she I did come out and watch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> and Daddy said he's going to buy her a lorry now. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> right, so the ponies are now just having a very well deserved munch, but I've just got some Molly chaff in there. More than what I'd probably give at the end of a normal just cross country but I thought obviously she deserves it she will have her dinner as normal later as well but I thought I'd get this in her as soon as possible so this is the Vetrofen for comfort and recovery by Animal Life so it's just a powder that goes in to her feed it just helps support and aid recovery obviously after everything that she's done today all her ligaments her joints muscles tendons everything like that and then we have also got the Vetrolites that are also by Animal Life as well which is more like a gel I'd say than you can see. Um, ooh, she's made. Can she tell that I'm doing this? We'll give that a mix up, get some water in there, and she can have that while she's out. Because Dad is very kindly holding her for me. Whilst we're packing everything up and making it all like, I want to say neat and tidy. It will be neat and tidy. It will be, but it's not at the moment. <laughs> nice, sloppy, sloppy. Where is she? Where's Dad? Daddy! Hey, fuck it! There you go. She's probably going to go now, nah, on grass. <laughs> Addy is so strong, just in case she wasn't aware. <laughs> Who's leading who here? You did do well. You did do well. Sometimes you just got to take her off in a different angle, haven't you? You did do very, very well there. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh clever pony. Oh, I'm very, very proud of my pony. So mega. So mega. I've got no other words than just what a little superstar. Right, guys, we are about to head down to the party, oh, so over an hour. Yeah, Emily is talking properly. No, um, but we are cheersing to an epic day with our ponies. Big Tim Rocks! Big Tim Rocks! Woo! 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 Miss you, Megan Han. <laughs> you should have stayed. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, hi. You okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, I got your din uh, your breakfast, not your dinner. I got your breakfast. Want you to breakfast? You had a good night's sleep? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're happy. You're looking very bright and alert, which is lovely to see. Good morning, guys. Obviously not morning for you. Only been a few minutes. Uh, but we are up. It's been quite a leisurely start to the day, actually. Because... Uh, I'm not trotting up until 11 11 so that is the first on the plan today obviously got to get her all trot up ready myself trot up ready um, and she's been very good to be patted when she is away from home and being patted she can sometimes be i don't want to say a nightmare but she's just going to get be quite fidgety but she's tucking into her horse age and uh, yeah no she's been a very good girl actually i need to move my block there i need to move my block my bucket <laughs> 
A um, couple more plaits just to plait down and the forelock, roll them up. And I keep looking for my watch and I haven't got it on because it's on charge. Um, but yeah, we are, I think it's about half past nine, so we've got loads of time. I haven't looked at anything of the show jumping yet. Kind of doing one bit at a time to not allow the nerves to kick in, but I'm almost, I'm feeling good at the moment. I'm like, what will be, will be. She's already been epic all weekend, so whatever goes in and whatever happens, I don't know what to expect from her, whether she'll be careful after yesterday, that ground was tough, but she's just made her, I love her, and there is a lot more fun things in the future um, for us in store, I'm sure of it, so whatever happens today happens, but obviously we would, we would love a clear, but no, we are going to go clear, positive mindset. To the trot up. Emily looking very smart in her welly box jacket. trotting her in the thing and she's like what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, not easy. Ah. Oh, 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 oh. Horses successfully through the trot up, which is good. They've all passed. I can't lie. That was the most embarrassing, embarrassing trot up I have ever done. And obviously Mary King was there, who I had interviewed recently. So she recognised me, said hello, how are you doing, and all of that. So I was having a nice little conversation with her. And then Addie went, see ya. Um, but we're now just heading down to the main arena, which is where the show jumping is this time. Oh, they're doing the prize giving for the hundreds. Aww. Aww. She's got a sash on and a rug. Well, presentation time now. Coming in then in eighth place. Oh, well done. Nicole's Nick Gubbins, Red and View, Great Tags. But yeah, the show jumping is down in the main arena, which is exciting. I've never in ridden seven, in this, but obviously I've watched the five star down magic. here. How it exciting is that it's down here. And it is looking Trevay. beautiful. Hopefully Busy the ground is holding up okay as well. The only thing I don't like is that we're warming up in sand and then coming down. Then coming down to come in here and Jim. In fourth oh, place, Heather Utard's Crafty Wizard. If you don't jump this first fence with them even in both reins, well, you're setting off the course on the wrong foot, okay? If they're straight from hind legs to front legs, you can be short or long, you've got options. No prize. No prize. Five very normal level strides is, in theory, what it walks on. 
but actually they're coming in and some are really spooking at that one there and then suddenly this feels like five very long strides, okay? So you just need to know your horse. I can't say, you know, if you're a pony here or if you're on a big rangy horse, it's gonna ride very differently. If they land and they spook over, if they spook over that and then they land, you need to do your adjustment straight away on landing, okay? What you don't want to do is go, oh God, and then get here and go, oh God, now we're on five and a half. Okay, so you've got to land, put the canter in straight away, okay? Even if they jump it fairly normally, because it's square-ish, I want you to land, ride the first few strides positive, so almost the last couple of strides you can be quiet and waiting again, yeah? You don't want to be pressing on the last couple of strides and risking flattening the horse. All I need is your time devotion I don't want to be so emotional Just I can't see a distance just focus on that leg to hand straightness, yeah. And if in doubt, slip the reins rather than pulling the reins, okay? Yeah. Just give the horse a bit of their neck and they, they do brilliant things if they're straight. Now I've gained a bit of information from the first double as to how my horse is making up or not making up distances in combinations today. So I just need to ride accordingly to this to how they jump that, okay? If they found that very short, then maybe I just need to be a little bit smaller. If they found that quite long, then make sure I've worked my canter early enough. But if in doubt, think, are they straight? Okay, do they feel straight in the connection? Where they've been, I would argue a little bit kinder in this class to the 100. It was an oxer out earlier. Now we've got an upright out. That just means if you just don't have the right shot in and they just climb in a little bit, You've got time to slip, come tall, let them pick one or two for the more pony types, yeah, or short striding types. And actually those that are on bigger striding horse, I think this will ride a lovely one. Okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I haven't been a very good vlogger today, have I? As you can probably imagine, nerves are running high, but it's absolutely fine. It is just another 90 that we have done lots of rounds recently and she's smashed them and she's gonna go in and smash this one as well she's all booted up studded up just need to put Stuart's bridle get my jacket and my hat on um, but yeah I don't really have any other words if I'm completely honest guys I am trying to keep my mindset really really positive and I visualize the course lots of times know where I'm going so yeah feel good Feel good. Yeah, Addy feels good too, don't you? Yeah, just, just leave me to it, Mum. Yeah, no, I'm excited. I just... You're bound to have nerves, aren't you? It's only natural, but you just got to turn those nerves into excitement. How many I've got? Right, Tina, you have Unfortunately, I don't have much of our warm up, but Cam warmed us up, and I can honestly say she warmed up beautifully. She was absolutely pinging in the arena on the surface, but the moment her hooves touched the grass, she just turned absolutely wired and almost back into cross country mode. I decided to come into fence one on the left rein so that I could go past those banners and the flag so it didn't cause us a problem for fence two and three. I did see a bit of a long one on the first one, so I will openly admit that I think that was potentially my fault but then I just could not get her back to me she was very very fighty as you can see she just really wants to run off through the bridles so we are losing the connection and I'm trying to get her back we did get a nice stride over that one and some of them that we did get a nice stride she did jump really well but she was just in quite a wired argumentative mood which was such a shame and then there, just that one came flying out. And she just, usually she'll touch a pole and then that makes her go, oh, I've got to jump higher, I've got to be careful. But she wasn't in that mood or frame of mind for this round, unfortunately. I'd say we had two real dodgy jumps and that is the second one as well as the first one, but she managed to keep that one up. And then here turning around before the one strider double, which actually she did jump through really nicely, but you can see the moment that she's like, she sees the fence, she's just like, yep, let me at it, mum, which is exactly what she is like on the cross country course. And I love her like that on the cross country course. However, when it is in show jumping, that's just where she's young and doesn't realize that 
actually mum knows best um, and unfortunately the last two came down as well resulting in five poles which I really don't feel Addy deserved in the slightest not after being so mega the day before well done in the third Tina Wallace, Lizzie Luxton, Emily Dobson, Carrie Ann Dunstan they're here for the beer and they finish in third Well, I didn't even know where to start. Just was not meant to be. Oh, uh, yeah, was. I've tried to put this off of doing it because I didn't know. I don't know what to say. I am absolutely gutted. I'll be completely and utterly honest. Um, but Addy very much enjoyed herself. We were just still in cross country mode, and as everybody has been telling me, she's a young horse. She's six. Never done anything like this before. Um, and she just, yeah, which it was a bit weird because she's usually pretty careful. Um, but obviously today, maybe it took it out of her more yesterday than what, I, I don't know. She still had loads of energy, just Cam thinks I need to be jumping bigger. I don't know how that works, get five poles down. So but yeah, anyway, it's going to get them packed up and yet the ponies. Oh, Addy's like, yeah, I want to get home and get some grass. Yeah, you can go out tonight because the weather I think is going to be nice. We'll rug you up. And you can go out, uh, yeah, deflating, very, very deflating. I said, why is it that it's got to end on that as well? Because you think, like, the last two days I've been buzzing, like, proper buzzing with her. Um, and now I'm like, oh, and I'm ending it on that as well. It just sucks. It just sucks, but never mind. The team came third. Obviously, I was the drop school, but, yeah. We came third. I, I will try and be more cheery in a minute, guys. Sorry. We're now home. It's the following day and I've just spent my lunch break unpacking all the stuff with the help of Susie. Thank you very much. You love a bit. You were like, what are you doing? Are you riding? And I was like, unfortunately, Addie's lost a shoe because I do want to just take her for a little bit of a hack just to check she's all OK before she goes off on holiday. But she has lost a shoe. So a message to the farrier has gone out. And then you were like, oh, organising and sorting things out. That is right up my street. So, my bag. <laughs> yeah, no, thank you very much. You're welcome. And I'm going to try and keep this short and sweet. I can't lie. It has been a very deflating. I don't even, I think the last thing I filmed was walking back with Addy from the show jumping back to the car. Obviously, we then packed everything up and we didn't get back until quite late last night. So I thought I would watch the footage, watch the round off the show jumping, I've watched more of the cross country, watch the dressage and then be able to come and end this vlog and I'll try and try and get my words out because it has been a hard pill to swallow, I cannot lie. I am so proud of how far Addy has come this whole season to think at the beginning of this year we were napping out on course at an 80 centimetres. We were having stops at 80 centimetres. So for her to have come through the season and go from strength to strength, I am so unbelievably proud of her. She gave me a fantastic ride on Saturday. She gave me a lovely test on Friday. But unfortunately, it all went to pot basically in the show jumping yesterday. And never did I ever think I would be saying... Addy and five poles in the same sentence if I'm completely honest it was tough it was yeah it's been tough to comprehend is that the right word um I've had some tears um I held it together quite well yesterday down and around everyone everyone was so lovely so supportive and then when I got back to the trailer I did have a proper little blub and I'm trying not to now I even cried when Susie got in the car earlier I was just like oh it's it's silly isn't it because there's so many positives to take out, but I just think when you're at such a huge high from Saturday to then go down to like the the highest of high to the lowest of lows, it's oh, it's deflating. It's met. It's horrible, and that is the sport. And she warmed up so beautifully yesterday. Huge thanks to Cam for the help and the guidance in that warm up. It really helped and. 
I actually, I'd be nervous all day. I can't lie, I was nervous all day. But the moment I got on her, we were in that warm up and we jumped a few fences. I was like, she's on it. She's, yeah, she's in the zone. She didn't touch a pole. She didn't even rub it. She was flying them. And I thought, yeah, I'm feeling good. And I was actually excited. I didn't have, all the nerves seemed to like sort of slip away. And then when she got onto the grass and we were waiting to go in, obviously the white fencing around and there was like a bit of a gate. And I don't know if she just thought, oh, this is a bit of a start box. And the arena is a big atmosphere. There's a lot of space. And maybe her brain was a little bit blown. I, I don't know. But the first fence was entirely my fault. And then actually the rest of the course, I think I, and I'm usually the first person to criticise myself. Um, I would always be like, no, I rode like a sack of potatoes. It was completely my fault. But actually, I don't think I rode that bad. She was strong. She was keen. She was pulling me into them, which, again, you cannot knock. You can't knock her enthusiasm. But just, unfortunately, wasn't respectful of those poles. And whereas usually, if she had one pole, like the first one went down, I was like, right, OK, that's out the way, done. Now let's focus on the rest of the course. But she just didn't seem to care if I'm honest, and that is very unlike her, but she's never done this sort of format before. She just, I, I just simply think that she thought we were out on cross country again, going up that steeplechase and just was in cross country mode. Didn't realise that she needed to be careful over the pole. So yeah, it is gutting and I'm sad that it has to end on that. It's not like you've got something coming up next week or anything like that. That is the end of the event season for 2023 the end of Addy's first ever proper eventing season. And like I said at the very beginning, she has come so far. So I am over the moon with her and I'm chuffed with what we've achieved this year. Roll on next year. Fire in my belly is still very much a light, but I think it's just going to take a few days for this just to settle down and stop being so gutted about it. But that's horses, that's the sport. I did just come out of that arena and I had to walk away. I think probably everybody can appreciate you just need that sort of moment of just by yourself because I was a bit in shock if I'm honest I didn't have any expectations but never did I expect there to be five poles down against our name but never mind Addy is absolutely still loving life loving eventing she's in having a bit of food I've got to admit I've only just taken your plats out haven't I because when we got back late last night she's proper girly locks aren't you tucking into some food a little bit of lunch aren't you Yes, girly locks, because she would not stand still when we got home last night, and it was a bit of a battle to try. I think I got two out, and then was like, oh, um, I just couldn't get her. She was just so fidgety, and I thought, Do you know what, just go out, and I'll sort you tomorrow. So she's, she's come home happy, healthy, just as I would want her to be, to come out there next year when we're going to be even stronger. All of this under our belt have more mileage and yeah I'm really excited for the seasons to come I can't yeah everybody was just so lovely and supportive I've just read like all the Instagram comments and everyone appreciates like the, I want to say like the guttingness the disappointment basically that that is how it's ended but everyone was so lovely our team obviously came third which was epic so we did get to go in that arena again and do a fun lap of honor it's actually more just it would have been nice to have ended a little bit higher when we were in such a strong position, but that's how it goes sometimes. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed coming along for Addy's first three-day event in the long format uh, and enjoy the steeplechase footage because that was, yeah, that was fun. Highlight of the weekend was that steeplechase. She was just so game. Whole cross country, she was so game. But yeah, that's definitely the highlight of this weekend for me also a huge huge thank you to my parents for coming up both saturday and sunday dad then driving the horses home mum keeping me company in the way back um i thought i wanted to be by myself if i'm completely honest but actually it was really nice just to have mum and like dissect it talk it all through and yeah they support me every day of the year basically and they feel it just as much i think we're all feeling the exact same this morning and yeah I would be completely lost without their support so huge thank you to them for coming up and being there celebrating with me on the Saturday and commiserating with me on the Sunday but yeah would be would be a whole different world if I didn't have their support and being there with me on the highs and the lows so yeah huge thank you to them and a huge huge well done to tina and kerry ann it was so lovely to see them get the results this weekend and to spend the weekend with them we had lots of fun and giggles 
and seeing so many familiar faces all so supportive of one another and yeah it's just lovely I love the eventing community if you have enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a like comment down below and of course hit that all important subscribe button if you don't already and a huge thank you to everybody that came up and supported came over had photos the team behind us helping with like in the 10 minute box and Meg, Hannah, Vanessa, Amy, Susie, everybody. Yeah, thank you. My little rock of the weekend. We're the best time. Yeah. yeah, we did. It was epic. It was so, so epic. And yeah, couldn't have done it without all of you guys because there was a lot to do, isn't there? Yes. There's a lot that goes on. How did you enjoy your first three day event? <laughs> I got two hours sleep on the Thursday oh, evening because yeah, I, I was so worried about that 10 minute box. <laughs> <laughs> but you smashed it. Everybody yeah, it was yeah. fine. And, and Meg and Hannah and um, yeah. Amy. It was just, it was just lovely. We it had was. a great time. Yeah, we did. Really good fun. Thank you for welcoming me into your YouTube family. Nah. <laughs> so 2024 gonna come out fighting aren't we yeah but hey uh, thank you guys for all your support throughout this whole season well forever actually but uh yeah until next time i'll see you all soon bye, bye.